Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen J and today I'm just going to show you guys how I properly remove my acrylic nails. As you can see, this one is already off and this one broke. And you know, usually people will rip them off or bite them off. This one's toe up too. But you know, usually you'll like rip them off or bite them off and that's not how you're supposed to do that. That could really damage your nails. So I'm going to show you guys how I properly remove them. So let's get started. <laughs> So the first step is that um, it's about the length. So my nails are really long underneath my acrylics. And I can either, um, if you want to keep the length, then you just cut off right here where your nail stops. But if you don't care about the length, then you can easily just cut it, up, cut the whole thing off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my little nail cutter. Okay, so these are the length of my actual real nails. Wait, wait, this one. Oh, no, that's real. Okay, yeah. These are the length of my real nails, right? So now, um, that's an important step because if you leave your nails the full length that they are, you're going to have more acrylic to soak off. And that's honestly really, it's not a smart idea. So basically what we're going to do, you need to have 100% acetone. Acetone. 100%, y'all. Not no regular nail polish remover like actual it has to say 100 percent acetone because that's the only way your nails are going to be able to soak off if you have regular nail polish remover it's not going to soak off y'all so you need to have 100 percent acetone i got this i think from walgreens girl you can get it from walgreens sally's target whatever walmart so i got mine from walgreens and yeah so basically what we're going to do is you can either get a bowl or a little baggie i chose to get a little baggie because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to wash nothing out afterwards. So I'm just going to take this baggie. You just need something to pour the acetone in so you can soak your hands, basically. So, I'm just going to take the acetone and pour it in the bag. You don't need to pour a lot, just pour enough for like a corner. This is kind of too good. You want to make sure it's on the corner like that because it's just easier i feel like it's just easier so then just gonna put your hand in there like that so yeah you just want to have your nose sit in the acetone and basically check on it periodically because that's how the acrylic should start um flaking up and soaking off basically so i'm gonna let this sit for a little bit then i'll come back okay so now you're just gonna get a cuticle wooden stick and just start pushing it back as you can see, it's not gooey. See, if I was to go like that, it's not gooey. Because I know when some people get their nails done and they try to soak them off, it's gooey. And that means that your nail tech used MMA on you. Sorry, you can't really see. That means that your nail tech used MMA on you. And MMA is basically an illegal acrylic system. And EMA is the good stuff. So if your nail tech used ema it would look like this and it's not hard to get off like you see i'm just scraping it's not it's like crumbling but with mma is super gooey so and most um people who use mma I'll put the actual name right here because the name is long but the actual people who use mma are people who work in um you know, like the regular corner nail salons, like, you know, and they're super cheap to get your acrylics done and stuff like that. So as you can see, this is coming off like with no problem. It's really an on and off type process. You have to kind of go back and forth. Well, that's the way I like to do it at least. So I'll come back in another little bit so you guys can see.
to go wash my hands and this is the final product they look like nubs but i mean oh well but y'all can see i don't have any drill lines that people be having the rings of fire i don't have any of those my nails are perfectly fine i go to a good nail tech and that's really it that's the proper way on how to remove your acrylics i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys would like more nail tutorials i still gotta go do this hand but yeah so yeah i'll see y'all soon bye